How's it going patrons? Thought I'd just let you in on a little bit of maintenance I have to do today. I have a uni seal down there that's leaking. Now I'm fairly sure I know why. I don't, I'll see if I can get this down there. You can see that little bit of a pink around the uni seal. I'm sorry for the echo. Uh, these um, holes were a little bit stretched when I got them. So I had to wrap the, um, the gas fitters tape, uh, the thicker pink, or, uh, there's the sun, um, some thicker pick, uh, pink Teflon tape around the uni seals just to give me a nice good seal on there. So yeah, unfortunately this one here, because it's where I hook up the radio, uh, the pump to clean out the radial flow filter, it gets moved around a lot. I don't know if you can make out down in there. We're getting a little bit of um, water dribble through. So rather than over time um, lose a little bit of water continually, I'd, I'd rather just uh, patch it up now, even though these um, filters are coming offline uh, at some point in the future. So. I thought I'd just show you, um, yeah, basically how you can pack them out a bit. I'd say this one's just leaking through, um, yeah, wear and tear. So I'll give it a fresh round of um, the Teflon tape and we'll see how we go. First off though, I need to get this down there and um, zap out that screw and uh, pull it all out. There we go. Hopefully I won't drop it. <laughs> and we have it out. Woohoo! <laughs> So, now to pull off that bit there. Ah, uh, this is going to be fun. Let's see if we can set this up, just so you can have a bit of a laugh at me. I don't think that's going to work. I might try it from the outside. So just to show you, it's what I thought, wiggling the pump on and off is basically just cut through that Teflon tape and has made a bit of a loose seal, so I'll just have to replace all that. So it's not a big job, a bit of a pain in the butt though. The same thing's actually happened to um, this tap up here. So I had to drain it out the other day. Because there's no fish in there at the moment, I'm not too concerned because I'm just filling up straight from the tap, straight into the sump tank. So. Yeah, I actually probably should um, sort all this out in the near future when I've got some time to clean off all the biomedia and just um, get a smaller pump and just hook it into the system and just run the grow bed straight from the sump tank and um, yeah, let that do its thing while um, we're renovating. So anyway, I'll stop gibbering on and I'll um, try and give you a look at how I do this. So I just pulled all this mess off. Now what we need to do is um, wrap this around. So it's not exactly rocket science, but I've had a few people who've had uh, issues when they've bought the uni seals off me. Um, they've used those cheap little spring-loaded um, saw blades, the whole saw blades, and they tend to stretch out the holes a fair bit. But if you can, um, yeah, wrap a bit of this tape around, you can pretty much well um, get a good seal. I'm going a little bit messy here, try and smooth it out a bit. The trick is not to get too much on, otherwise, um, yeah, it'll grab on the edge of the hole as you push it through. And just wrap a little bit, overlap a little bit over the top there. Oops. Make a bit of a mess. Ah, oh, your wombat. <laughs> just wrapped a little bit over the edge there, so hopefully as it pushes through the hole, it um, won't pull back. So we'll have a crack at pushing her in. I got the I've got the phone resting on a brick here at the moment, so hopefully that'll do the trick. So I'm just trying to get this in with all the pink tape without a bunching up. That looks to be it. So I just get a little bit of water from there just to make it easier to push in. I bumped the phone, sorry folks. And I've got a bit of a line here where it was previously, so that should do the trick. And now, to try and uh, match all this up on the other side. Last time I did this, I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> uh, just trying to be a bit careful here. There we go, you can see the hole there. Zap him in. we go all sorted hopefully um, that'll do the trick so we'll just run some water in here 
and we'll see how we went. So I've got to turn the valve back on here and also turn the water back into the fish tank. Yeah, turn the bio back on. Should be cooking the gas. So I give this a bit of a wobble now. There's no leaks. So she's all hunky-dory. So there we go folks, I thought I'd just bring you along, give you a bit of a look at some maintenance. And as I said, um, I was going to do a bit of a clip just filling you guys in on what was going on here. And that's pretty much all, um, yeah, what I said before. I will be taking this uh, tank offline and the filters and just running uh, via the sump to these grow beds just until after the renovations are finished. Uh, we're actually, the plans are with council, woo! -hoo! So <laughs> we're one step closer. As soon as they um, give us the thumbs up, we'll be off to the builder and give him a copy of the plans. So we should be right to go. Um, yeah, so I've got some um, beetroot to plant out here that I'll um, be showing in a general update clip. I've got some beetroot, a uh, couple of honeypod peas Bianca wanted me to pop out. I'll probably put them over there because I'll be able to get around the back after this pipe goes. So we still will be growing. It'll just be, um, you know, semi-organic using the Charlie carp and whatnot. Um, I might even... Um, Ask the folks over at Aqua Gardening if they could recommend a, a so-called organic um, hydroponic additive to use. I'm just a bit concerned if I use the the, the general um, hydroponic nutrients that we might end up with a bit of a salt buildup in here. But then again, I will be emptying out all these grow beds at some point in time. So we'll just see how we go. If you guys have any suggestions, pop them um, down below the clip. I'm uh, looking forward to hear what your thoughts on the matter are. So I will pretty much will leave it there. I actually came down to um, take a photo uh, for the uh, radial flow filter or the filter page for the website. I'm um, just showing the stilling well um, as opposed to the um, standpipe, something like that for the clip, uh, for the page. And I got sidetracked when I noticed that the bottom was a little bit mucky down there. Anyway, she's all done now. I will sign off. Cheers folks and have a top on. And Lizzie's barking at the neighbours.